Hi, Gary Stearman along with Bob Ulrich and we've just come out of a phenomenal experience, the Blessed Hope Prophecy Conference. Bob, it was exciting. It was. Uh, two weeks ago in Norman, Oklahoma, we had a crowd of almost 1,500 people uh, attend the event, thousands of people from literally all over the world live streamed the event. Uh, 34 speakers, over 70 presentations, not your father's normal prophecy conference. And we have some exciting news uh, to send your way because as is always the case in a prophecy conference, there's interaction. Bob, we learn from people who come to visit us. They're excited. They always say the same thing. Why don't they teach this back at my home church? I have to come all the way to Norman, Oklahoma and to learn these exciting things. And you know, the good part about that, Bob, is that they take the news back home to their home churches with them. Absolutely. You know, our, our conference really stands alone when you stop and look at it from the outside. Uh, it's a very unusual event. Uh, for starters, having 34 speakers in one place for three days is uh, quite the interesting experience, uh, the logistical challenge for me. But the subjects that we cover at our conference, how shall I put this? They don't always make everyone happy. You know, there's Indeed. a paradigm out there uh, of people who think they know everything about the Bible. Uh, they find some of the things we talk about at our conference very troubling. I mean, can you imagine talking about the sixth chapter of Genesis and the Nephilim at a prophecy conference? And speaking about things like giants and the importance of understanding the giants in terms of Bible prophecy, even latter day events, because Bob, there are a lot of uh, researchers out there today, Christian researchers, who are making a, a very clear cut connection between the activity of giants in the days of King David, for example, and the prophecies of the latter days. The two are absolutely connected. Everybody knows about David and Goliath, but <clears throat> as I have written in this, the uh, September issue of uh, The Prophecy Watcher, the title here is, Who are the Rephaim? These were the giants in the days of Israel's kingdom heyday. When Israel was a kingdom and was operating at full tilt, there were giants in the land. And you need to know about that for reasons which we don't have time to go into. And that's why we touch on some of these subjects, Bob. Well, I read your article again this morning before I came to the office, and it's very lengthy. And it's very long and very detailed. And I have to say, there are things in that article that you will never read in another book, in another prophecy publication. You're never going to hear about them in church. You're not going to hear about them on television. Uh, our magazine really, really is unique. Now, you've written about the Rephaim, but you've mm -hmm. also written just in last month's magazine and the coming issue of this month's magazine, another article about the rapture of the church. Yeah. And you've been studying this for what, 40 or 50 years? And you're yeah. still uncovering things you've never seen before. Well, I told Bob just before we came on today that I am only now, at this stage of my research, beginning to truly understand the rapture of the church. There's a reason for it, and it's very complex. The reason is not simple, it's not easy. You really have to dive deep into prophecy to understand that. And the people with whom we associate, Bob, uh, are, th are the types of scholars who love to take a deep dive into Scripture. Uh, it's a good thing, for example, in churches to teach the basics of Bible prophecy. Pre-mill, pre-trib, dispensational ideas, I think it's a wonderful thing. But not all pastors want to take that deep dive because it might be considered controversial. In fact, we are at times considered to be controversial, right? Uh, I've heard, uh, we've heard a little criticism here in the last uh, few weeks and months and years. Uh, the exponential growth going on at this ministry, I guess doesn't make everybody happy. Some of the subjects we talk about uh, are disturbing to some, but yet they're all in the Bible and they can all be backed up with Scripture. In fact, I think the really uh, uniqueness of Prophecy Watchers is we provide a platform for a lot of really smart people, uh, all of them who are experts in certain areas of Bible prophecy, uh, science, archaeology, uh, different areas that I think are really fascinating to people. Ryan Peterson 
There's yes. a guy we met literally just six months ago. And uh, this is a guy who was a, a huge, huge hit at the conference talking about what life was like in the pre-flood world. Now, who can imagine that subject? And by the way, when Ryan gets into it, he doesn't just ad lib. He goes point by point by point through Scripture. Scripture you've probably read yourself, and you need to take a second look at it, because when Ryan gets finished, you really understand that particular verse in a way that you have not before. And Bob, I think that's where we are today. We're going back and taking a new look at the Bible in the context of the, of the latter days in which we live. I think we, we all agree these are the last of the latter days, and I think God is opening up ideas that are uh, commensurate with the happenings in today's world, which uh, some might call absolutely insane. What's going on? Well, the Bible lets us know what's going on. Yeah, you know, we had a couple of new guests with us this year for the first time, uh, Dave Reagan and Jan Markell. Yeah. And I know you sat in on a couple of Dave's messages Absolutely. on Israel. <clears throat> yeah. uh, I've uh, heard from several people who live streamed the event who just said they were the greatest messages they've ever heard on the subject. Uh, Jan Markell, talking about uh, the Illuminati and the New World Order and things going on in the world that are literally spinning out of control. Uh, you couldn't get a seat in any presentation that That's she right. made. And they were very exciting presentations indeed. Jan Markell is in contact with preachers all over the world. And uh, she exchanges ideas with what's going on in the churches of the world. And Jan's job, and she does remarkable uh, work in this area, is to point out uh, apostasy whenever and wherever she sees it. And she is not bashful about that, Bob. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, we had a couple of men with us at the conference this year, uh, Jack Langford and Steve Dill. And we actually had an old earth, young earth Q&A, uh, which was really enlightening. And both Jack and, and Steve are both dispensationalists. And of course, most of the, uh, most of the old time Bible teachers were old yeah. earth. 19th, early 20th century, every Bible teacher worth his salt was, was an, an old earth creationist, including C.I. Schofield, of course, and uh, the, the Schofield Bible around the turn of the century, Bob, was the most popular English Bible in the world. John Nelson Darby, Arno Gabeline, yeah. uh, Lewis Sperry Chafer, Lewis Sperry the founder Chafer. of Dallas. Well, we could go on and on, but I think you get the idea. Uh, we want to plumb the depths of Bible prophecy, going sometimes in places that have never been touched before. And let's face it, it makes some people nervous uh, that you would move off in these directions, but these are the days in which we live. Bob, you know, a minute ago you mentioned live streaming. A lot of people watching on live streaming, and uh, we are, as we make uh, this program today, we're almost at the end of our live streaming event. We are. We, we actually work with a, a third party who handles all the audio video needs of the conference. And by the way, we've heard from so many people uh, who have said clearly this is the best conference they've ever attended. The audio video work at the conference was just a grade A superior. Yeah. But the live streaming is coming to an end. Next Thursday, November 8th, will be the last day you can sign up for the live streaming feed. It's really easy to do. Just head on over to prophecywatchers.com. All the way at the very top of the website is a live streaming schedule. And you can actually see all the messages. Not only are we streaming the 42 messages from this year's conference, but as a bonus, we've streamed the 44 messages from last year's conference. So if you just joined us, not familiar with all the content, that's 86 messages for $80. You have 60 days to actually watch those messages, which could be a challenge. You'd actually have to watch a message or two a day. But uh, some people, you know, binge watch stuff on television and watch five or six programs. Uh, what better uh, alternative do you have than 86 messages in a 60-day period? I guarantee it'll change your life. But remember the date, Thursday, November 8th, is the last day you can sign up for live streaming. Now, if you miss that date, there's another alternative. Sitting in front of me here are four DVD sets that are deep into the construction process right now. Uh, you know, our conference is unusual. Over 70 presentations, which means every one of these presentations has to be edited, has to be proofed, has to be duplicated, 
And then you have all the assemblage, you know, with sleeves and cases and packaging and mailing and everything that goes into such a massive, massive undertaking. But this is well underway. Uh, we have a new system we're using this year. Uh, very, very encouraging that we're going to be able to get these out a whole lot faster than we did last year. It's a pre-sale price of one twenty nine ninety five, and that includes not only the 70 presentations from the conference, but this year, thanks to our video editor, we have recorded all three of the meals, the two luncheons and the dinner. Those three meal presentations are also going to be on this set as well. The topics covered are phenomenal. I covered a topic, uh, Ezekiel 38. And everybody, Ezekiel 38, that's been studied to death. Is there anything new there? Well, yes, there is. And that was the subject of my talk. How about the judgment of the Nephilim? Ryan Peterson. You, you have to see Ryan talk to believe it. The man is an absolute, I don't know what you call him, a research giant. He has uh, in his mind thousands of connections that run through Scripture. And how about... Uh, L.A. Marzulli talking about the 100-year-old Fatima event. And you say, well, why should a Christian study about Fatima, Portugal, in 1918? What's, what's there? What's there is spiritual deception that has bled over into the church age, and L.A. Marzulli points it out very clearly so that you will not be deceived by anything you hear. I could go on and on, Bob. Not only does he point it out, somehow he managed to get himself into a, into a museum and get a photograph, a hundred-year-old photograph from Fatima of a small disk sitting underneath the sun, uh, which to me is how he got this is, has got to be a God thing because no one's ever seen this photograph before. Ancient glass plates, photographic plates, and only L.A. Marzulli can find them. And it's relevant, folks. It's relevant in terms of what's happening today in Bible prophecy. And I've got to say, there were people who came out of your presentation just open-mouthed, aghast at what they heard. Because you, how many times have we all read Ezekiel 38 right. and completely overlooked that one little name in Ezekiel 38? Gomer. Gomer. <laughs> and how you connected that throughout Scripture uh, literally, by the time you wrapped up the presentation and actually connected all the dots, I mean, people were just completely blown away. And that's the way it is at uh, a prophecy conference like ours. The Blessed Hope Prophecy Forum brings in people with ideas that, uh, that are uh, a little deeper, uh, plunging a little deeper in Scripture than is usually the case. Uh, Church on Sunday is great. You need to gather and worship. You need to have a spiritual leader. But the study of Bible prophecy uh, it goes a little deeper into Scripture, sometimes so deep that it, it makes you a little uncomfortable. And, and I think that's where we should be. Well, it makes uh, quite a few people a little uncomfortable, some of the things we cover. If you don't get the magazine, these are the issues you don't want to miss. These two studies on the rapture that you've done uh, are life-changing. Uh, when the rapture occurs, how the rapture occurs, why the rapture occurs. Uh, there's, there's meat and potatoes in here uh, and a few vegetables mixed in. Things that people will never understand yeah. or even think about until you actually realize what is going to happen once the rapture of the church happens and the tribulation period begins. Or the question that has plagued me for years, why is there even a rapture? And the, there is an answer to that question. Subscribe to the magazine. It's $30 for a year. It actually comes with your choice of a whole series of free DVDs. We've got The Rapture is a Resurrection, The Mysteries of the Book of Enoch, uh, Defending the Rapture with Gary and Tommy Ice, which is just brilliant. Jack Langford, The Fall of Lucifer and the Ancient Earth, another free bonus DVD. Until the end of the year, you can actually still get a lifetime subscription to the magazine for $100 can get it in digital format now for the same lifetime $100. Uh, the digital magazine by itself for one year is $20. It's a bargain. You'll get all 12 issues, and you'll get to read things that literally are cutting-edge materials from, I think, some of the, you know, the most unique and creative writers uh, in the world today. I mean, guys like L.A. Marzulli, guys like Bill Salas, uh, guys like Ryan Peterson, 
Yeah, and, and Steve Dill, uh, a, a gentleman who uh, is a, a brilliant scientist by background, and yet he's very, very deeply faithful. The result, you come to understand more about the ancient Earth than you ever thought you would. Well, we have a whole new crew of people coming in in the next couple months. We've started to book our television programs. We've got some exciting new authors coming in who you've never seen before. Uh, we have an app, uh, the Prophecy Watchers app, that I want to talk about briefly. But basically the advantage of having the app is you're the first one to get to see the TV program. When you have the app, you get a little ding on your phone, and there's our 30-minute uh, uh, weekly television program right on your iPhone. Bob, you have no idea how many people that I've signed up for our app. Everywhere I go, I pull out my iPhone and say, have you seen our program? It's right here on my phone. Really, they say, wow, i got to do that. How do I do that? And I explain to them, and the next thing you know, they are signed up on the app. Well, there are a massive amount of people who uh, get first access you know, to the, uh, to the weekly program. Now, real quick, we have so many people that have a Roku box now. I, I don't know if you can buy stock in Roku, but I probably should have done that a couple years ago, uh, just because we, <laughs> I think we've had, we're approaching almost 20 million of our programs being downloaded off of Roku. Uh, for 50 or $60, you buy this little box, you hook it up to your TV. If you have the internet, wireless internet, you can have a Roku box. And uh, there's no cost. Once you buy the box, you can watch our program on your television in your family room every week and never miss a single episode. It's, it's a, a great investment. Thing. You know, technology uh, seems like it's a little threatening, but in these last days, technology is a great tool to spread the gospel. And that's why we're here doing what we do. We believe that you can exalt the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in a way that's literally impossible uh, without the study of Bible prophecy, and not just any study of Bible prophecy, but study uh, based upon a platform of knowledge. Uh, we go back hundreds of years to scholars that have brought their wisdom forward. Uh, that wisdom has been put into books by contemporaries, and we, we are here just simply to bring the ideas to you. Just to wrap things up, I think Gary and I both want to say thank you Thank you for attending the conference. Thank you for live streaming the conference. Thank you for supporting the ministry. Uh, one of the things on the DVD set you're going to see is the actual presentation uh, and the video of our new building, mm. uh, which we're going to be doing a special update on here very, very soon. Uh, we'll have some new uh, groundbreaking information. If it's possible, the news appears to have gotten even better and uh, we're going to be talking about that here in the very new fu near future, uh, letting everyone know uh, about the future of Prophecy Watchers and our acquisition of this new headquarters. By the way, we appreciate your prayers, and we want to thank you so much for supporting us with your prayers and in your thoughts and in your correspondence. We just absolutely are, are, are bowled over by the love that, that we feel every day from our audience. Amen. And I just want to say, keep studying Bible prophecy. Better yet, keep watching. We are. Thanks for joining us on Prophecy Watchers. You can find us on the web at prophecywatchers.com where you can sign up for our free email newsletter or follow us at facebook.com slash prophecywatchers. In the meantime, keep watching everybody and we'll see you soon.